So Rob, it was a frustrating afternoon at Saracens, but there were some positives. We did have some good tries scored on our behalf. What did you take away from that performance leading into this week now? Uh, yeah, it was some key learnings from that game. Um, wasn't the result we wanted. Mm. So we've just we've gone about it as it's it's one speed bump in the road. And um, hopefully if we if we get into conditions like that again, we've learned from, from our mistakes. We, I think Sarri's um, really took advantage of of playing into the wind quite well, whereas we struggled playing with the wind. Um, but then again, some positives at the back end of that game when we actually got into our shape and got playing the way we wanted to, um, we scored some really beautiful tries. You've had a lot of responsibility since the turn of the year, since AJ got injured, so you've been flying that flag for the side. How much have you embraced the weight of that role this season? Yeah, obviously it's never nice having one of your teammates being injured. Um, but speed recovery to AJ, obviously. Um, but it's been good having an extended run in the team. Um, I enjoy being the general, so that's kind of my job. Um, it's a job as a fly off, so I take that in my stride. Um, obviously, we got we do have some good tens coming through. Tom Curtis, Kieran Wilkinson. So mm. those old boys really nipping nipping at myself and AJ's heels. Um, so that's also nice to have. Have they impressed you? I've seen Tom had a bit of a European action. How much have they impressed you on the training field? And then Tom in particular has had a bit of a Champions Cup action as well. Yeah, I think Tom's uh, been really good when he's when he's had his chances. Um, was good in the in those warm up LV games. Yeah. Um, and a training is really good, works hard, as does Kieran Wilkinson. Obviously, he's just come back from a big injury. Last time I was here on loan, Wilco played some really good rugby, um, also in the European Challenge. Mm. Um, so, yeah, really impressed with the two of them. Since you've been a part of the side, <coughs> initially when you were part of the side last season, your first full season with the squad this year, something I've noticed is that you have been one of the most vocal people in the team. You've settled in quite seamlessly. Has that leadership attribute to your game always been present really from the get-go or is it something you developed? Uh, well as a 10 you kind of have to be quite vocal in what you want um, so it's kind of always been there, I've always been a vocal 10, mm. um, vocal in the team setup so for me personally it's always been there. Um, you have to as a 10 call the shots and make the plays so if you're not talking on the field at training and stuff like that then you won't be talking it on the game. Yeah and then Obviously, you got a try at the weekend, but your brother Dan did as well. Dan and John Luke's first full seasons with the side. How much are you proud of their progress? You know, the two very young men, um, they're getting a lot of praise for their performances, turning a lot of heads. You've got to be a proud big brother. Yeah, obviously, really proud. Um, Dan's been going on like a house on fire. So is Jail, kind of playing out of position, obviously. Mm. He's a loose forward, playing at lock. But I mean, he's just doing the same stuff he does every week, every week. I um, so obviously really proud of them, really proud of the way we've, uh, or they've been going. So I've all, I think all the, the imports or Saffirs have been doing quite well. Yeah. Um, but, but Dan, Dan and Joel have been playing some top class rugby for the past couple of years now. So hopefully that gets noticed. And is that something that you want to continue playing alongside your brothers till the end of your career? Because you have a remarkable story where you followed each other from club to club. It's not really something that's known in rugby for three brothers to uh, stick together like that. Well yeah, I, I kind of left the nest early doors, yeah, went did, to the yeah. Stormers and then came back to the Sharks. Um, obviously wanted to be with the family. Um, it's awesome playing with them in the same team. Obviously it's not nice being against them, mm. uh, as you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we'll see where the road takes us if someday our paths have to split. Obviously we'd, we'd love to stay together um, and that was a big thing coming to sail because um, we could all, there was a spot for all three of us. So obviously it's nice being with them, um, but I don't think it's a be all, be all and end all. Um, but for as, as far as we can, we'd like, I, I'd assume we'd like to stay together. I can't speak on their behalf, obviously. Well, I hope to see that. <laughs> uh, I definitely hope to see that in the future, Mike. Yeah. Um, so Friday's opponents, Leicester, <clears throat> they've struggled this season, but obviously we can't take any game lightly in this competition. So. <clears throat> what have you made of their season so far and what do you think they bring to the table? Yeah, I think uh, obviously they, they struggled early doors. Um, I think they're riding a bit of a wave now. I think I think two wins on the rattle. So um, they're a quality side. They've got really good players. Um, they've got a big pack of forwards with some with some electric backs. So uh, really looking forward to that encounter this weekend. Um, hopefully the weather plays its part. Uh, 
But yeah, Leicester's a good side. We, there's no easy games in the Premiership. Absolutely none. Um, so it, it's, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a good game, I'm thinking.